Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. So, it's 8 o'clock on the dot, so we're going to get stretched out real quick, okay? And then we're going to go into some throwing and hands routines, and then we'll go from there, okay? A couple things before we start. The biggest thing today, number one thing, is safety, okay? With the young guys, there's a lot of balls going around. For the next hour, you've got to pay attention the whole time. If a ball's being thrown, your eyes have to be on the ball. When you're not up and you're in line, you can't be talking to your buddy like this because balls are going all over the place, okay? So for the next hour, focus as much as you can. Keep the talking as limited as possible. Just pay attention. The next hour is going to feel like five minutes. It's going to go real fast, okay? Sound good? All right, work as hard as you can. You're going to get a lot of reps, and let's have fun. So first thing, take your gloves, put them up against that wall, and let's line up all the way down real quick. Okay, everyone, jog it out. Back pedal. Okay, everybody, grab your gloves. Wait, you look like a real professional camera guy now. Okay, everyone come in here real quick. Come closer. Okay, listen up real close, okay? The, we're gonna put in our throwing program and our hand stuff right now, okay? So we're gonna talk a little bit more today than we normally would, but I wanna make sure everyone knows exactly what we're doing, all right? So in a second, the 11 and 12s are gonna play catch first. We're gonna play catch this way. The 13s and the 14s are gonna go down there and we're gonna do a hands routine and then we'll switch. Everyone got that? Once you do that, coach will let you do that for a minute or so, then you're gonna back up. You're gonna go about to midfield or so, right about here, okay? You're gonna get in your fielding position, all right? You're gonna come up, you're gonna bring the ball to the middle, you're gonna take your right foot to your left, and your left to your target, and throw. Everyone got that? So it's like you're fielding the ground ball. Lefties are just the opposite, okay? So again, you're here, bring the ball up, replace your feet, Throw and follow through. Okay, you'll do that until coach tells you to push back again. Then you're gonna go all the way back to the wall. Okay, or pretty close. You're gonna face like this. Ball, the middle of your body. You're gonna shuffle and throw. Okay, everyone got that? Real easy. My footwork is always, watch my feet. My footwork is always for a righty, right to left, left to my target, throw and follow through. Okay, lefty's just the opposite. Easy enough? Once that's done, he'll tell you to come in and play quick catch. When you come in, you're gonna come to about halfway again. You're gonna face your partner, and all you're gonna do is throw the ball quickly back and forth to each other, okay? It's how quickly can I catch the ball, get my feet in position to throw, and give the ball back to my partner, okay? So we're gonna be quick, not out of control. I don't want you going crazy, but I want you to use your feet quick, See how quickly you can catch the ball? Everyone watch, if the ball's thrown in the middle of my body, I want my two hands close so I can catch, or I can just deflect it with two hands. Everyone got it? If it's thrown outside your body, then you can catch it with one hand and bring it in and throw. This is probably the most important part of the day, okay? Everyone thinks this is just warming up. Baseball, no matter what position you play, pitcher's gotta throw the ball to catcher. Guy hits the ball, I gotta catch the ball. I gotta throw the ball, I gotta catch the ball, okay? Baseball is what we're doing right now. So if we do this at 11 years old, better than the other team, guess what? We're gonna win. Yeah, exactly. It's really real easy. Whoever plays catch the best usually wins the game. Can everyone see me? Off my heels, my chest is forward, my hands are out here so I can see the ball and my glove at all times. This hand right here is just off center, just right here. So when the ball goes in, I'm not just catching the ball with one hand. I'm deflecting the ball, I'm getting it with two hands, okay? The ball comes in, I feel the ball, I bring it to the middle of my body, and then I flip it back to my partner. He's gonna roll it to me, I'm gonna feel the ball here, I'm gonna flip it back, he's gonna roll the next one. That's it, 
That's all I want you to do. As you get going, go quicker. But I want to make sure that I'm staying in good position. Anybody can field the ball being rolled a mile an hour. It's about fielding it the right way every time. Faster. Faster. Yeah, I know. Tell them to go fast. Here you go, in fielding position. Make sure our hands are out further in front. A lot of guys are fielding it under here. Roll me one. A lot of guys are fielding it under here. I can't see this ball. I see the ball, I see the ball, and then right here it disappears and I can't see my gloves. I've got to be able to see my glove and the ball at the same time. Then I bring the ball to the middle, boom, right there. Ready? Boom, right here. When I, tra when I transfer to throw, I transfer in here, okay? I don't want to push the ball out here because I don't transfer out here. I don't want to do this because I don't transfer out here. Every ball comes right to the middle, okay? Do that one more time real quick, 10 each. Here we go. Bring the ball here and roll it back. Bring the ball here, roll it back. Look at me. My eyes are close to the ball. My back is flat, my butt's up and I'm right here. Bring the ball, roll it back. Here we go. Back and forth, back and forth. Here we go. What's up, Sue? Couple things already that we need to work on. I could tell within three seconds, guys rolling the ball and then all of a sudden you're playing higher, higher and then you want to be up here. Okay? In order to be a good infielder, I gotta have strong legs. I've gotta be able to sit like this, and I should be able to sit like this forever. Okay? So I know it's, your legs are gonna start to burn, but the only way you'll get stronger legs is if you continue to play low. All right? So nice and low, bend your knees. A lot of guys are trying to bend at the waist, they're not bending the knees. Look at how high I'm playing right here. I gotta play underneath the ball. See this? This is where I wanna be, right here. Okay? You guys good with that? We're gonna do a drill called the flamingo drill, okay? So we're working on right here is our rhythm when we're catching a ground ball, okay? So when you feel the ground ball, when you run up to the ball, you go right foot, this is for a righty, okay? Lefty is just the opposite. You go right foot, left foot, catch the ball. Everyone got that? Real simple, right, left, catch the ball. So you're gonna balance right here. Charlie, will you bring that in a little closer? Right there. So one guy will be here, the other four or five guys will be behind them. You're going to balance on your right foot just like this, okay? So I'm going to balance like this, coach is going to roll the ball, I'm going to put my foot down as I catch the ball, okay? So I'm timing up the catch to putting my foot down. Everyone got that? That's the rhythm we're working on. Sounds really easy. When we do this, 90% of the guys are going to have a hard time putting their foot down when they catch the ball, okay? So you've got to be able to practice this. When you watch a fielder that's like, oh wow, look at that guy, he looks so good, he's got such good feet, this is why, because they're able to get it to the ball, right, left, catch the ball, okay? So all you're gonna do, heads up, I'm gonna throw this one. Gonna be like this, he's gonna roll the ball, you're gonna go boom, and just throw the ball. Everyone got it? Easy enough, I lost my microphone. There it goes. Okay, that's the flamingo drill, we're gonna do that a bunch. So coach is gonna hit a ground ball, you're gonna feel the ground ball, and you're gonna throw it to the guy that's in your line right there. If you're catching in the line, you don't have to be a first baseman unless you are a first baseman. If you're not a first baseman, just work on moving your feet, catching the ball, and then you're gonna put it against the wall, okay? So whether you're fielding or catching, you're doing something, okay? So that's important down there. Move your feet. If it's a bad throw, don't just stand there and reach. Move your feet and catch the ball. Run over, put it in the bucket, next guy jumps up. Everyone got it? Joe and Roberto, once you give these guys about five minutes or so, then switch and have those guys, maybe a whole bucket and then switch them. You're gonna run in hard, you're gonna break it down, and then you're gonna put your right foot down just like this, and then he's gonna roll the ball, okay? So it's gonna be just like the flamingo drill, but now you've gotta add in running into the ball. So we go big strides, once you get close to halfway, you go small strides. If this stops falling, you go small strides, then you stick your right foot. He's gonna roll the ball, you time it up, put your left foot down, field it and throw it. Everybody got it? It's the same drill, except you've gotta run halfway, break your footwork down, and then get to your right foot. Lefties, go to your left foot. Everybody got it? Why, hey, get down there. Yep, just step in front of that a little bit more. 
Yeah, now get your feet moving a little. You were right here, the ball was hit, and you never moved one foot. You just yeah. sat there, sat there, sat there, then you caught it. Ball's hit, start moving up on it. Good, keep that flat back, Josh, a little bit more. Go away, Nick. Tough play. Start attacking it, coach is going to roll it. So you're going to attack it, break it down, field it and throw it all together. You're going to blend everything together, okay? So coaches, roll the ball. Once they start sprinting, then you can roll the ball, all right? Here we go, ready? Go ahead. Break it down. Yep, now you got to try to time it up.